All right, today's little shop project was we were going to do some two antique chairs that we got from Ray. And these are for one of Karen's friends that's uh, kind of needy and needing some chairs. She had no kitchen chairs. <laughs> and basically, uh, I thought getting these from Ray would be a good project for the shop. Now, what happened this morning, it rained all morning, so I got all the, the light sanding done. I just ran over everything with some 320 paper. Just try to scuff everything up. Get it? If you don't scuff it up, there's a good chance the paint's not going to stick. Now, and again, we're, we're trying to keep this to a budget job. What I have here, and I tried this. This is the first time I tried this product. The, the guy at the paint store told me this is one of the better things to use on old furniture finishing and after you do a little light sanding and, and of course it says on the can you don't have to sand yeah <laughs> I don't think so anyway but once you do sand this definitely does give the paint a better bite especially on something like a chair where you're gonna bump up on it and kids are gonna jump up on it and whatever now what I noticed is after I did a very light sanding, I mean the finish underneath, this is probably uh, a relatively old chair, I don't know how old, but because it's such a nice quality chair, and we got these from Frank Straub's estate through Ray, and they are really a nice heavy, heavy duty kind of chair, they're worth putting a day of labor into, and this whole project ran less than a day. Now usually on Tuesday we do motorcycle work or some painting or whatever, but but the way it turned out, this turned out to be a perfect project for today. Now what I did, they tell you to put the stuff on with a rag. I like to put it on with a brush even better. And of course with rubber gloves, I don't know if this stuff is, because this is the first time I've used it, it kind of stinks, but if you do it outside, I guess that makes it a little bit better anyway. So anyway, one chair got prepped up. In the time it took to do one, I figured because then the sun had come out and it was a bright sunny day the rest of the day. So I thought this stuff would dry real nice. Now what's real good about this is, and you can see, it gets in all the little crevices, all the little spots on a, that, that would be very hard to get in with a sandpaper. And I guess to a certain degree, uh, you know, and I don't know, we're going to have to see once this is all dry, just how it, uh, how it plays out. But I will get to, because this is going to one of Karen's friends, I will get to see these chairs maybe for the rest of my life. I don't know. And if the paint comes off, the full Kawasaki warranty applies. So anyway, I, I really started out thinking this was going to only take an hour or so. But you know what? I don't do a lot of painting with spray cans. And the problem with doing spray cans, it takes forever to paint something. When you haven't, you know, a, a compressor, you could do these in a very short time. When you're doing them by hand and all this hand sanding and getting it around the dowels and everything. So it just it wasn't a big deal to do it. And I know the work is going to be appreciated. Now what happened is I, I underestimated the amount of paint we need. I thought one can per chair and we'll have a can for a touch-up. It was really like two cans for a chair. So Karen graciously got us another can while I was still working out there. But I was happy to report, and the thing that the thing I wanted to pass on is this liquid deglosser really looks like it does work. But I still would recommend anybody doing anything similar to this, just lightly roughing everything up with some 320 paper. Now another thing, and this is always something I remember from many years of using spray cans years ago, if you don't shake it, you, you got to shake it at least a minute. And it, when they say shake it a minute, it's probably better to shake it three minutes. And what I did, I try to let the paint sit out in the sun and let the chairs sit out in the sun. The reason for that is I like the paint to get tacky as soon as possible, and this way it avoids runs. If it's a cold day, cloudy, and the paint is ice cold, it almost guarantees you're going to get some runs in the paint. So once I started using this paint, the only downside, again, I'm used to painting with a compressor where you can put a lot more paint on in one pass, but it really doesn't matter. It just it just a matter of time and little by little as I saw the color come to life now the woman that's going to take these has a very eclectic house and she has a shabby chic table that these are going to go on 
And I think the girls really like they picked out this color together. So if they don't like it, <laughs> I don't know about that Kawasaki warranty. I have to have to figure it out. Maybe we'll make these KTM chairs. See, if she doesn't like this color, you know, I can make these KTM chairs. Just make the bottom black and a white stripe and some zigzags on them. But, well, stories for another day. Anyway, once I got one chair done and cooking out in the sun, and this paint in 20 minutes is kind of dry to the touch, then I felt comfortable going on to the other one. And once I got the second one done, and I kind of looked at, uh, you know, how this was drying up, I said, oh, this is going to be pretty nice. It dried relatively nice. Now, again, what I'm, what I'm going to find out from this job is the clear coats that we use to do motorcycles, the urethane clear coats, uh, the two-part, what I want to see is how it's going to look when this is all done. And I wanted to get at least one picture from far away so you could kind of see how that color was going to look from far away. Because it is an overwhelming color. And again, it's probably KTM or Harley Orange. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Make some KTM chairs here. But even using spray cans, you can really get a job like this uh, relatively nice. And the cans are about five bucks a piece. You need two a chair. So what I'm th what I'm thinking is like for around 20 bucks you got a nice set of kitchen chairs. Now what I'm going to do is wait until the next day to I want this to dry overnight, and then I'm going to be doing some painting tomorrow with clear, and I'll just use up the clear that's in the gun to give this a a coat of clear, make it a little more durable, and then I have to put some clear coat on her table. But other than that, this this was a pretty productive day, and. I know a lot of people out there, you know, have old chairs, maybe they want to refinish, and you can do this, this kind of a deal for about 20 bucks.